Hey there, art lovers! Today, let's talk about an incredible artist whose work had a major impact on the art world during the 19th century. Meet Sir Edward Burne Jones. Burne Jones was born in 1833 in Britain and was a member of the famous Pre Raphaelite Brotherhood. You might have heard of some of his talented buddies like Dante Gabriel Rossetti and John Millais. These guys were all about reviving the art of the past and bringing a fresh, vibrant energy to their paintings. In his early days, Burne Jones was heavily influenced by his friend Rossetti's style. However, as time went on, he started to develop his own unique approach. By 1870, he had truly found his voice as an artist. Then, in 1877, Burne Jones had a big moment. He showcased eight of his oil paintings at the Grosvenor Gallery, which was a new and exciting rival to the well-established Royal Academy. One of those paintings was The Beguiling of Merlin, which was a real showstopper. This exhibition put Burne Jones on the map and made him a star in the art world. But here's the cool part. Burne Jones didn't just stick to painting. Nope, he was a man of many talents. He teamed up with a fellow artist named William Morris and they founded a design company called Morris, Marshall, Faulkner and Company. Together, they crafted all sorts of beautiful things, like ceramic tiles, jewelry, tapestries, and mosaics. One of Burne Jones's most enduring legacies is his work in stained glass windows. During the 19th century, the craft of creating these intricate windows had experienced a revival, and Burne Jones's designs were at the forefront. You can still find his stunning stained glass creations in churches all across the UK, and even in other parts of the world like the US and Australia. So, there you have it folks. Edward Byrne Jones, a remarkable artist whose influence continues to inspire us to this day. From his early days with the Pre-Raphaelites to his groundbreaking work in design, his artistic journey is truly something to behold.